welcome to the Dental Team Podcast. I'm your host, Kara Dent, and I have this crazy idea that maybe I could combine a doctor and a team member's perspective, because let's face it, dentistry can be a challenging profession with those two perspectives. I've been a dental assistant, treatment coordinator, scheduler, filler, office manager, regional manager, practice owner, and I have a team of traveling consultants where we have traveled to over 165 different offices coaching teams. Yep, we don't just understand you, we are you. Our mission is to positively impact the world of dental, and I believe that this podcast is the greatest way I can help elevate teams, grow VIP experiences, reduce stress, and create A teams. Welcome to the Dental A Team Podcast. Hello, Dental A Team listeners. This is Kira, and you guys, I hope you're having a killer day. I hope you are having just a, an incredible life. Uh, if you're not, Hey, that's okay. I'm giving you a big hug right now because some days I have really hard times. Personal life, uh, professional life, being a human, this chaos of ramping up after COVID really tends to just kick me in the booty. And so if you guys are feeling that way, just know I'm giving you a massive hug, giving you a high five and reminding you that I have a bracelet that says this. It's so cliche, but I think it's fitting for today. You are stronger than you think you are. You're braver than you believe you are. And you can absolutely do this. I have a quote today that says, it always seems impossible until it's done. And I think sometimes that that is just very relevant for our lives. I know for me right now, I've got some personal things in my life that feel impossible and they just feel like they are sucking the wind out of me. But guess what, guys? That's what you're here for. You didn't sign up for the easy path. You didn't sign up for the path that is filled with zero frustrations. You signed up to become great. You want to go to the next level. You push, you manifest, you create this in your life. You might say, Carrie, you're crazy. The answer is no, because we get out of life what we want. What we want, you guys, you might not believe me. I will promise you, you are the creator of your life. You are not the manager of your circumstances if you want to be. But I really think it comes down to how do you view life? How do you view yourself? Are you seeing yourself as somebody who's a creator? Or are you seeing yourself as woe is me and life is just happening to me and oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened and I can't believe that happened. Or are you realizing, hold on, I am a master creator and I get to create the life I want. I'm just, I'm asking a question. Today is, today is Kira's Rift podcast because as I've been going through, I've, I've just realized lately I've kind of lost some steam and some motivation. I have felt, uh, I don't like the word burnout. I don't like the word overwhelm. I've just felt human. <laughs> is that, is that fair? Uh, things haven't been easy. Things have been, um, harder. Things have been challenging and, I have had to change my motto too. I love challenges. Challenges light me up. Challenges are what me what make me me. If I didn't have challenges, I would be honest to goodness bored, guys. I wouldn't get to use my brain. I wouldn't get to innovate. I wouldn't get to think of new ideas. Just think of all the crazy cool things that we get to have. I mean, Uber. How many of you use an Uber? I do. It's like a, a life. How many of you use Google Maps? I literally had the thought a couple of, gosh, it's, it was early on in my career uh, in the consulting company, but just recently too, I think about all the offices we go and visit. You guys, if Google and Apple had not created maps on my phone, just think of me on MapQuest. Like, let's go back to MapQuest days. And before that, I remember my mom, you guys, there's seven kids in my family. We definitely did a lot of road tripping. My parents were rock stars. They traveled with us a lot. And I just remember my mom and dad, mom sitting in the front, trying to read these maps and telling my dad where to turn. And it was hard. Like I do remember going in downtown, like Times Square, New York, and my mom were trying to read the map and we were around and around and around in circles. Well, going by myself, traveling to offices and our consultants traveling out to see you guys, I truly, without the invention of Google Maps, Apple Maps, having it on our phones, Garmin's, like let's go back to that day when you like, had to stick it on your the windshield. But if those things hadn't been innovative, we wouldn't be able to have a consulting company. I'd be like knocking on people's door, driving out in the middle of nowhere. You Nebraskans, you know, it's like cornfields. What do I do when I'm trying to drive and find you guys? But just looking at all the innovations that made our, make our life awesome. I think about, I mean, man, it's super convenient. Instacart, anybody with me, anybody else, an Instacart fanatic, Amazon, look at how that's changed. I mean, today I was realizing I need to go get makeup. And I literally thought I should just pop on Amazon or just go to Ulta's website and order it because I just haven't made time to get to the store. Talk about a spoiled girl over here. That's our life though, guys. 
And why did all these things happen? They happened because of challenges. They happened because someone saw a need and innovated and made our life amazing. So that's why I love the phrase of challenges light me up. This is what I'm made for. This is literally why I, I'm created, in my opinion, is to help solve these problems and these projects. And I think when we can shift it and we can say, okay, this is literally what's going to light me up. This is why I'm here. I'm going to change and innovate the way my patient experience is. I talked to a doctor today, if they're listening, shout out to you. They said teeth in a day. I thought that was so creative and so clever of a marketing plan, a way to help patients teeth in a day. That's going to be guys, a full mouth extract in place. That's awesome. They get new teeth in a day. How crazy cool is that? So just rephrasing how we do this. Um, On our team meeting every single week, we say, I have how we present every single day. And this is what I mean. Calls, podcasts, meetings, in-person events. The way we present, and I would encourage each of you to do something like this for your practice. For us, it's passion. We're present. We find results and we find solutions, okay? So it's passion, present, results, solutions. That's how we present on every call, every meeting, every Zoom call, every event. You can feel it on the podcast. You guys, I bleed. I should say I like explode with confetti and all that of passion for you guys on the podcast. I'm present. I'm here. I'm giving you guys the best of me. I want you guys to get results and I'm here to create solutions. How many of you would just love to DIY and get the secrets of people who have been there, done that on your own time. Because I know for me, I love to learn from the best of the best, the people who have been there, done that, and can give me the shortcuts. That's why we have created our Dental A-Team Virtual Academy, where it's on-demand courses for you at your fingertips, where you literally can learn the secrets from all of my experience, all of Tiffany's experience, Brittany, Dana, our entire team's experience, at your fingertips. So stop taking the hard route, guys. There's a shortcut sitting there waiting for you, and it's also CE. Head on over to thedentalyteam.com and click on our virtual academy. Be sure to use coupon code podcast and get started on that DIY and become the practice of your dreams. So just changing that verbiage and then the language and how our company speaks. It literally says this. I have my team read this every single week, and you better believe if someone is not passion, present, results, solutions, I challenge them and I ask, hey, are you passion? Are you full of passion today? Are you present? Are you here to create results and find solutions? And if they're not, guess what? I haven't had to do this yet, but I would not at all be opposed to dismissing them and inviting them to come back later when they are passion, present, results, solutions. This is the language in how we speak. Challenges fire me up. Wisdom flows through me. I live for breakthroughs. I am guided by heart, passion, and soul. I always get results. I always deliver more value than anyone else. I am a solution master. Just think if your practice had a catchphrase or something like that, that your team literally lived by. So I'm saying this is taking your core values and like ramping it up. Because our core values are fire up, which I think is really clever. I didn't do this on purpose, but our core values, our acronym is fire up. So it's fun, impeccable with our word, do the right thing. Yes, we definitely pulled that R, (laughs) do the right thing. Ease, unconventional, and passion for excellence. Those are our core values. So with that, our core values says fire up and our language and how we speak, the first line is challenges fire me up. So now our core values link into the language and how we speak. Challenges fire me up. Wisdom flows through me. I live for breakthroughs. I am guided by heart, passion, and soul. I always get results. I always deliver more value than anyone else. I am a solution master. Now that works for our company, right? We're a consulting company. That is who you probably want working with your team, working with your office manager, working with you doctors to help you. Challenges fire us up. So bring us your problems. Bring us your frustrations. Bring us that because that lights our fire. Wisdom flows through us. We have hundreds, if you combine all of us, of years of experience in the dental practice, working with hundreds of practices across the nation. You better believe wisdom flows through us. We live for breakthroughs. We want to help you guys see. That's why I do this podcast. I want you to have breakthroughs. I had a coaching call client the other day and she said, Kira, my office manager literally said to me, what Kira said was so simple and yet so effective. That's the breakthrough I'm looking for every single time. We're guided by heart, passion, and soul. 
that's what guides all of our decisions. When you have heart, passion, and soul, you better believe I'm going to go above and beyond for our emails, for the responses, for our coaching. That's what we're guided by. We always get results. We always deliver more value than anyone else. That's why I email at two in the morning when I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got to get them this information because we always deliver more value than anyone else. But where does that come from? From the heart, passion, and soul. I am a solution master. You're not just going to come to our company with your problems on back. Dang it. That's such a rough go. We don't know what to do for you. No, instead it's, we're going to give you a solution. We're going to find a solution. We're going to help you with that. We are known as solution masters. So my question is, what about your practice? Yeah, we've had hard times. We've had all this, but do you speak like this? When I'm having a rough day, I'm like, Kira, how do you present? Are you presenting with passion, present results and solutions? So I would encourage you guys, you've got your core values, but how do we present every single day in our, when we see our patients, when we talk to team members, when we have a problem, we are present. We get, we deliver value. We are professional. We are elite. I don't know. You come up with the words that work for you. And then how do we speak? Patients light our fire. We love to give our patients the best experience better than anyone else. We provide the most perfect clinical dentistry you could ever expect. We always look for solutions. We speak to each other with kindness and professionalism. Just imagine what your practice would become if you took the time to have this and once a week in your morning huddle, I don't care where you do it, you guys talked like this. Instead of focusing on the negative, this is how you become a creator of your life. This is how you start to create your life instead of just managing all the problems that are coming to you. I could change this and say, I present every single day depressed uh, with problems. No, we present with solutions. We, you guys, I'm like patting my leg over here. I hope you can hear it through the microphone. We present with solutions always. It drives me absolutely crazy when my team does, comes to me with a problem with no solutions. We are not that company. You are not that employee. And if you are, this is not the company for you. You create solutions. By having this, I've been watching my team shift. I haven't been as great. I need to be better. Get to push them a little bit more. But at the end of the day, guess what? They know how we present. They know the language that we speak and the core values we have. This is how you create your life, guys. So I would encourage each of you, write down what are, the, what are the words we live by? How do we show up for our patients, for our practice, for our team members? Give me three to four words, period, that are strong and powerful. Then what's the language we speak? Challenges, light, challenges fire me up. Challenges fire me up. They're not problems. They're not annoying. Challenges fire me up. So with that, guys, I would encourage you to do this. You can be the creator of your life, and this is how you can do it. It's up to you. There's never and too little time to do this. Make this a priority. Change your life. I can't wait to hear. And if you need help with this, email us hello at thedentalightteam.com. And as always, thanks for listening. And I'll catch you next time on the Dental Team Podcast. And that wraps it up for another episode of the Dental Team Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. And we'll talk to you next time.